Hello and welcome to the Fitz video in this tutorial on how to make a pong game. In this tutorial we are going to fix the collisions so the ball can actually move up and down and it bounces against the bottom and the top of the screen. So to do that, uh, I did make a mistake in the previous video. I said that when we collide we'd increase the score. But of course, you know, you don't increase the score when the ball hits the paddle. You just bounce it back or play a sound effect. So we can get rid of that. But one thing we do want to do when the ball hits the paddle is we want to make it either shoot up or down depending on where the um, ball hit the paddle. If it hit the top, we want it to bounce upwards so they can control it and vice versa. You know, if it hits the bottom, make the ball bounce down. So to do that, just write, uh, we're going to have to fix up this statement. So just write, hold on, uh, flex spot. So this is saying the paddles are a type flex spot and change paddles to paddle because we're only referring to one paddle when we have the collision. So this code's run every time that the ball hits the paddle. So we can just say here ball dot velocity, so of course that's the speed, dot y, so the up down speed, equals ball dot get midpoint. So get the middle of the ball's position and then get the y of that. And then subtract it from the paddle, dot get midpoint, and subtract it from the paddle's um, midpoint. Now I might have got this around the wrong way, so we'll just say it should bounce up when we hit it with the top of the paddle. So let's see if it worked. And. There we go, yep, it worked. So when it hits the top of the paddle, it bounces up. And it goes off the screen. So we need to make sure that it stays inside the screen. So to do that in the ball class, in the update function, just write if y. So if the top of the ball is, the y position is smaller than zero, which means the ball has hit the top of the screen, then do everything inside these curly brackets. And we're just going to say velocity, so this ball's velocity dot y times equals negative 1. What this does is this basically just flips the y speed. So if it's going up really fast like that, then it'll flip it and come back down at the opposite speed. So, you know, down. So now that it's hitting the top and bouncing against the top, we need to make it hit the bottom of the screen. So just copy and paste that. But now, if the y is larger than the height of the screen, then we need to flip it. Now, when we just say y, we are referring to the top left, so the top of the ball. But if the top is underneath the screen, then we're not going to see this um, ball anymore. So just write y plus height. So that gets the bottom of the ball and sees if that is larger than the screen's height. And I think I just want to make the ball move a little bit faster. So we will change velocity.x from 100 to maybe 150. And we want it to move up and down a little bit steeper. So here we will just put everything here in brackets, then times it by 2. That goes off at a steeper angle. Now, when we run it, it should bounce against the top and the bottom of the screen. And it goes faster. And when it hits the top, it bounces. And there we go. Now, it did go off the side of the screen. So, uh... I think we'll leave that for the next episode. We'll finish up this tutorial in the next episode. This has just been a quick one on making the paddle, um, the ball, sorry, bounce against the top and the bottom of the screen and have proper collisions against the paddles. So in the next video, we will finish up with this Pong game and add some scores and do some fun stuff like that. Thank you.